Good morning. It is 7 a.m. and I'm still really tired, but there's no going back to sleep because we have to be productive today. The very first thing I do when I wake up is chug a lot of water because water is really good for you, especially when you first wake up. I am so tired, so I'm literally going to light this candle to help wake me up. Mmm. Smell of fresh apples on a fall morning, 10 out of 10. The very next thing I do in the morning to help wake me up and feel a little more fresh is to do my skincare. Here's my little workout OOTD. Okay, it usually depends on the morning what I do with a morning workout, but it is really important that I start my day and your day with some exercise or some movement. So depending on the day, I'll usually either walk my dog, go to the gym, or I'll do a morning workout at the house. But this morning, it's really pretty outside and I wanna take my dog for a morning walk. So let's go take her out. You wanna go for a morning walk? Yay, let's go. back from our morning walk with Belle and we are also back from the gym. I feel 10 times better because I did a workout. So what am I saying? Working out is not fun at all. Like I'm not even gonna sugarcoat it. It's just icky. Like I'm sweating. It doesn't feel good but it's good for your body so that's what matters. But right now I feel gross. I'm gonna hop in the shower and take a little everything shower because it is hair wash day and this hair needs to be washed. To the shower we go. Okay, I'm fresh out of the shower and my hair is looking crazy, but we're gonna fix that right now. I'm gonna go in with some leave-in conditioner. This product right here is one of my OGs and one of my absolute faves. It is the Kristen S. Weightless Shine Leave-In Conditioner. When it comes to my hair, I definitely need a leave-in like detangler because my hair is very much prone to tangles. I feel like this product helps with tangles and it also just makes it like really soft. And then after I use leave-in conditioner, I use a blow dry mist because I usually always blow dry my hair. My hair is very crazy and frizzy, so only when I'm in an absolute rush, I will air dry it. Usually I blow dry it, so I am using the Kristen S Blow Dry Assist Mist. This has some SPF in it. Oh my gosh, I literally said this has SPF. Not SPF, it has heat protectant, so it will protect your hair from heat damage. I usually just put it mostly on the bottom half of my hair. I am running low on this product. Usually before I blow dry my hair, I let it dry about 70 to 80% of the way, and then I go in with a blow dryer. That way it won't damage my hair, and I also feel like that helps with frizz. I don't know what it is, but it definitely does something. Usually when I blow dry my hair, I like to go in with a little rough dry first, and then I switch out the top and put in the brush to kind of smooth it out.
can't forget about deodorants. Much as I always try to use the spray deodorants, they literally never work for me. I always go back to using regular stick deodorant. To top it off, I'm using some perfume. This one is the Ariana Grande Mod Blush Perfume. I love the packaging, it's so cute. Mmm, it just smells like sweet, a little bit of floral. The scent will last on me all day. Usually never do my makeup in the living room, but there's something about my living room that just has so much better lighting than my bedroom. So for that reason, we are gonna do my makeup in my living room. Guys, I swear my room is so, so dark. I just love natural light when I do my makeup in the morning. Now that I think about it, I should probably start doing my makeup out here more often. First step, I'm gonna prime my face with the Merit Great Skin Priming Moisturizer. I've been loving this product. It's like the perfect hydrating, smoothing primer. I've been loving it so much that I am almost out of it. Then another recent favorite that I've been liking and I'm also almost out of is this Merit Complexion Perfecting Stick. This is literally a concealer and a foundation in one, so it definitely helps save me time in the morning. Kind of just spot conceal all over. Guys, look how cute this little makeup pouch is. It keeps all my brushes in it, which is just perfect for on the go. Okay, and then I'm gonna use this e.l.f. Complexion Duo Brush to blend it out one of my favorite makeup brushes ever I like using the smaller tip to go under my eyes <laughs> I just noticed while I was looking at the camera I totally missed all the spots I was supposed to conceal this kind of works like a foundation stick and a concealer in one if that makes sense actually gives pretty good coverage gonna do a little bit of contour with the Fenty stick I have the shade amber and it is the perfect cool tone contour a swipe like that and like that. I also put a little bit on my forehead too. For my contour, I use the e.l.f. Liquid Blush Brush. This is technically for blush, but I like using it for contour because of the shape. Kind of like on an angle, which helps with the contour blend. Again, I am no makeup artist, so I don't know what I'm doing. And now my favorite part of my makeup routine, which is blush. This is the Rare Beauty blush in the shade Hope. A little dot on each side. That's kind of a big dot, but whatever. This blush is such a pretty color. I love like a cool toned pink blush. I feel like it just suits my skin tone really well. I feel like blush just really kind of brightens up my face and it just gives my face a little bit of life. Also, when I apply blush, I kind of go in an upward motion like that. That way it kind of gives my face a little bit of a facelift. Now for some powder. I'm using this Kosas Cloud Setting Powder. Just a nice sheer pressed powder. For my powder, I love using pointed brushes like this one. This one is the Morphe M. 536 brush. That way I can just kind of go a little bit more under my eyes. And also, I also love pressed powder because every time I use loose powder, it goes all over my shirt. So I'm very demure. I'm very mindful by using pressed powder. I'm using two products for my brows. This one is the Rare Beauty Brow Harmony Duo. It basically comes with a brow pomade and powder. As you can see, I use the pomade the most. I'm almost hitting pan on it. And I also use this e.l.f. brow gel for setting my brows when it comes to my brows i hardly fill them in like i pretty much just fluff them out with the brush and then i use just a little bit of this pomade to fill them in kind of just fill in the end areas just a little bit if you guys have any other good brow product recommendations let me know because i definitely need to go to sephora soon Okay, now I pretty much go over my liquid products with powder products. This has to be one of my favorite bronzers of all time. As you can see, I am almost out of it. I'm just going to kind of go over my contour area. Just give my face a little bit more warmth. And then I just use this bronzer for a little bit of eyeshadow just to give a little bit of color and pop to my eyelids. And then lastly, I just use my handy dandy Tarte palette. I like using this bottom shade. It's the shade Gemstone. Just to top off my blush a little bit. And now we're going to set my makeup with this e.l.f. Power Grip Dewy Setting Spray. I am almost out of this setting spray. As much as I like the setting mist, I'm going to be honest. I really want to go back to my Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. But for the price of this, this definitely is a good setting mist. There are some mascaras that I've been using since middle school, and this is one of them. This one is the Maybelline Lash Sensational Mascara. If you love a mascara with a curling wand, kind of like this one, you will love this mascara. I feel like I always do the weirdest faces when I do my mascara. For fall time, I like to soak up every moment of using a brown neutral lip color. This one, I've literally been using all fall. 
And there we go, makeup is complete. Okay, usually now is the part where I get my healthy breakfast and I make my morning coffee. But I'm looking at my fridge right now and I literally don't have anything for breakfast girl i don't have anything so <laughs> i think it's one of those mornings where we're gonna go out and get some coffee but i definitely need to do some grocery shopping and clean my kitchen we're gonna do that later because first i need coffee and i need some food i'm super hungry so let's go to a coffee shop can i get an iced pumpkin spice latte with oat milk We have a pumpkin spice latte iced. Oh my gosh, it looks so good. Mm, she's perfect. This has the right amount of pumpkin. It's nothing like too overpowering. Also, I got a yogurt parfait and this one comes with house-made jam on the bottom. I feel like yogurt parfaits are like the perfect post-workout breakfast. Because it's Greek yogurt, it has some protein in it, which is perfect. I'm back home, still enjoying my PSL. But before I start my day and get to work, I realized I did not clean my bed. Like, do you see that? I literally cannot function if my room looks like this. Like, I swear, most mornings I do make my bed. I said most. <laughs> I was gonna do it this morning, but I kind of just started to get into my workout. Yeah, this is your sign to make your bed because that is not cute, not very demure. done it looks so much better and mentally it helps me feel a lot better also speaking of things being more clean and tidy i have a little update for you guys remember i used to have my little makeup vanity right here i ended up removing it because it just looks so much more clean and open at first i was a little sad because i've had that vanity for years and as much as i love the idea of a makeup vanity i feel like now i kind of just outgrew it over time yeah so i ended up donating it but it just took up a lot of room here in my bedroom i'm trying to be a lot more minimal so i was like you know what i just don't need it anymore plus i don't really have a huge makeup collection i am thinking though eventually maybe i could put a full body size mirror right here just because the one i have on the door is just also another thing i am outgrowing over time but yeah there's my little small update for you guys Okay, now comes the time where I got everything done for the morning. I felt really productive overall, and it is time for me to work. I have a lot of emails to catch up on. I have some editing to do for my channel and a lot of other things to do for my business. But guys, thank you so, so much for watching this morning routine for fall and October. I really hope you enjoyed spending time with me this morning and found this video helpful. Because girl, if there's one thing I could say, it is that every time I do wake up earlier, I always feel 10 times more productive. And then every time I wake up late, I just regret it because I don't get stuff done like I did today. But guys, thank you so much again for watching. And if you made it all the way to the end of this video, be sure to comment a comment coffee emoji. Also one more announcement, my husband and I recently created a couples channel so I will put it somewhere here on the screen and I'll also put it in the link down below. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and comment on this video. What do you want to see from us? Do you want to see like podcast style videos? Do you want to see vlogs? Let us know because we're kind of in this bubble of like 
what do we do? But we want to be sure that we do stuff that you guys want to see from us. Comment below on this video. I'm going to get started with my day and I hope you guys have an amazing day or night, whatever time you are watching this. And I will see you soon in the next video. Bye loves!